City 5. Oakvale Wanderers 4, Mute City 1. Viridian Forest 0, Sparta United 0. Tellius Rivers 0. Hyrule Wanderers 1. Balstow now being 4, Arclay Rivers 2. Pallet Town 1. Rich County 3. Seoul City 0. Seacrest County 3. Port Town 3, Dawnside United 0. Castle Villa 0. Canlake City 1. Casadis Town 0. Raccoon City 4. Ripton United 0. Pez United 1. 76 points for the champions now. Um, you know, what more is there to say about this table? What what more can I say? I mean, it's it's been pointless all the way through the season, hasn't it, this table? Because what does it show? When you go into matches and it has stat boosts and it plays 65th minute ones and it can foul your players uphill and down dale and you have better players but they're more error prone or they're slower and sluggish and unresponsive or you can't move your player toward the ball and you're looking at the screen and they're actually going away from the ball. What do the results actually matter? Because nothing is representative of what Pez is supposed to be built and structured around. Teamwork, what does it mean? 65th minute match, 65th minute match, 65th minute match, stat boost, fouling, all that kind of shit. What does teamwork mean then? So stats on players, you know, pass the ball to a player right next to it. The game wrenches it away and gives it to to their player's feet. You know, your brilliant keeper palms it away yet again for another tap into the opposition when he should be fucking catching the thing. Do you know what I mean? All that shit, you know, loads of it. What does it mean? What is it representative of? Like I say, I stopped doing the form, the last five away games and last five home games, because it meant jack shit. I was just getting 65th minute match, 65th minute transfer window. What does it fucking mean? I bought Vert. I was, I was expecting fireworks from Vert once he got settled into the squad. He was going to take a while to get settled in, but he's a fucking good player. But if it's so defensive and so aggressive all the time and it makes your players so substandard and not representative of their own stats, what does the transfer window mean? It means jack fucking shit. And when the opposition teams aren't even building or aren't even structuring or aren't even progressing in a manner, your your league is useless. I mean, you know, we're so much, should be so much better than the opposition if it actually was representative of stats and everything else, if it didn't fucking have its own set of rules and cheat its backside off and be so broken. <sighs> this is a report on the development of your players. Overt's OPR has increased at 81. Exclamation mark! Dee Barad is dribbling talents are rated really highly. He seems to have been given a nickname. The fans are calling him the wild man now. He dribbles a lot when there's ice cream about. And cherry cake. What? Um, I don't know. 19,518,480. Paul Arments in the kitty. The scouting report has been updated. Be sure to take a look. Is there a load of crap in it like last time? What? Did I need to ask really? Is there a load of crap in it? Yes, there is a load of crap in it. Some bloody scout. Um, team news anyway for the Roma match. Let's have a look. Rentarius on a purple. Props on a blue. Danilo's on a blue. Um, they've got a strong midfield, haven't they? And central defenders. Uh, okay, so it's going to present, you know, one or two selection headaches form. Stamina is pretty much okay. Might rest a player or two here and there. But uh, I'm sure I'll pick a side and, you know, give him a game. It might, might well, Jimenez looks like he's going to be captain. So that's what's going to happen there. Okay. So... I shall see you for the Roma match, which is the semi-final first leg. Till then, take care.